Alright dudes, welcome back. Part 5. Let's get in there again. Yes. Mission lock, no. Thank you. Oh, I'm probably gonna play like dog shit today, because... I got fucking blisters on my hands. Still got the gas mask on. What? There we go. Smells like sniper ball. Yep, smells faintly of that. So the dogs don't attack you then. out of war. Snake, please, save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. He's pissed. Snake, about Merrill. Colonel, I'm sorry. Listen to me. I... I wasn't able to protect her. Snake, she's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No, you're wrong. Merrill thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. That's not like you, Snake. Master? What is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I couldn't just listen anymore. Master? Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. Nothing good will come from that. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want too. You're right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Well, yeah, special. There aren't many tomboys like her. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece, and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. The genes? What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. 
I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes. He was Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Um, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? New York, I think. Naomi? I thought that you didn't have any family. I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake. Good luck. Watch your back, Snake. <sighs> Alright. I swear I saw Snake smile then, when he was having his solid flashback. Chad's dickhead. Someone's so clean, so we don't need them. Hey, disc two. Yeah. All right. Way through, I think about. All right, body armor, Thomas, and I think I'll have some good luck. Excuse me. Okay, let's do it. Bit epic, and then I mean it's fucking tall. Tail in there. Fuck's sake. Fuck. Shit, so now come on. There we go. Halfway up. Pollocks, they always get the first fucking hit.
thought it was gonna crush them. the roof. you get past here liquid you're not going any farther die it's a long way down if only i had a rope i should be able to use that rope i got what are you going to do take on a hide with your bare hands around here somewhere. stick to descend. If you kick off the wall while pushing the control stick left or right, you make a large jump in that direction. You can walk slowly across the wall if you press and hold the B button. 
to move a little at a time in a certain direction. Push the control stick while holding the B button. If you're careful with the timing, you should be able to dodge the gunfire from behind while you rappel down. If anyone can do it, you can, Snake. Hmm. Oh, put me on spray. Ah, see? Right, let's get something uh, written up. Here. You can't even pick them up or use any. You got me. Don't shoot! It's me, Snake. Otacon, how'd you get here? Well, it wasn't as dramatic as your entrance, believe me. I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. I was riding in the back of their truck, thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. 
The first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working? Yeah, that's right. You're incredible. Like a movie hero or something. No, you're wrong. In the movies, the hero always saves the girl. You mean Meryl? Sorry, forget I said anything. Snake, there's something I've really got to ask you. It's why I followed you up this far. Have you ever loved someone? That's what you came to ask? No, I mean, I, I was wondering if even soldiers fall in love. What are you trying to say? Do you think love can bloom even on a battlefield? For a doctor. Yeah. I do. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. But if you love someone, you have to be able to protect them. I think so too. I have a favor to ask. Uh-oh. Don't worry, it'll be easy. Um, I told you before, I won't hurt anyone. I don't want you to. Okay. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. You see? That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. I've got to go and swat a noisy fly. Okay. I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Are you okay? Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't matter. I just pretend like I'm not here. And then I'm not scared. I want that next game. New game plus. Strange logic. I'm counting on you. I don't know what we'll get it next game though. The one after that. Oh, fuck my blisters. Need to shoot again.
next one. Next one. What? There we go. <coughs> okay. That's all of the cameras. See if we need to stop the bunny. Mm, full on stickers. Cool. Here we go. Liquid round one. So, the snake's finally come out of his hole. Are you ready now, my brother? Why are you calling me brother? Who the hell are you? I'm you! I'm your shadow! What? Ask the father that you killed! I'll send you to hell to meet him! Please don't crash. You think you can beat me with that little thing? Actually, yeah, I do. Oh, I got him. Sweet. Fuck. Let him swing around. Jesus. I should get you as well. In fact, I can just...
thank you. No. Ooh, yeah. Fucker. That was close. Right down now. Oh shit. kind of just stood there and took that. Oh shit. I'm glad it went in so.
Come on. There we go. He's gone. Snake, the elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion before, what was it? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored. Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Call me if you need to. Next boss, pretty soon. Bosses aren't really. I mean, there's a lot of bosses in this game, and they're not far from each other, really, are they? So, hey, I wonder who it's going to be. First down this long ass fucking tower. Nearly there. Nearly there. Good thing the cameras don't respawn. the advantage of shooting them down rather than chaffing them.
Snake, there's something I forgot to tell you before. <coughs> there were five stealth camouflage prototypes in my lab. Yeah, so? If you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey, this isn't first grade math class. I thought I'd get one for you, so I went back to the lab and... Yeah? The four suits were missing. Also, about the elevator that I checked out, it's really strange. It was like someone was intentionally holding it. When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. The warning went off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much do you weigh? About 135. But that elevator had a weight limit of 650 pounds. It would take at least five people to go over that limit. Look out, Snake! Whoa! The guys who stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you! Shit. Too late, Snake. Now die! That was piss. Fucking cameras. Snake, are you okay? Otacon, were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's shooting at me in the middle of this blizzard. <gasps> it's her! Wolf? Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. Otacon, you sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please. She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. That woman isn't as sweet as you think. I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> I told you, I'd never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf! No, you can't! 
Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see? Women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this! Snake, I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal her location. You think so? Well, a message from me is a message from death. If I'm close, you will know death is close. Please, Wolf! Snake! No! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'll pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start. Alright. There's kind of lots of ways to actually beat her now. But, um, like, we got lots more weapons, so we got lots more options. But, if she wants an honorable sniper duel, I will. Grant her a wish. Alright, so she's over there. Shaking very easy. Forgot to mention that. Uh, when I first bought Snipe the Wolf. Well, one more headshot. There we go. This time.
Listen to me. I found a parachute near the wreckage of the Hind. A parachute? You don't think the liquid survived? No way. He'd be mad to try to escape by parachute. As soon as he jumped out of the pilot's seat, he'd be cut to ribbons by the rotor blades. So what's that parachute doing there, then? I have no idea. A trap? Either that or a message. To me. Meaning, I'm not dead, I suppose? Maybe. But I think it's more like, I'll string you up. Well, in any case, don't let your guard down. I won't. for this moment. I am a sniper. Waiting is my job. Never moving a muscle. Concentrating. <coughs> I am long shot. You cannot save me. Please, just finish me quick. I am a Kurd. I have always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. A Kurd? So that's why you're called Wolf. I was born on the battlefield. Raised on the battlefield. Gunfire, sirens and screams. They were my lullabies. Hunted like dogs day after day. Driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I'd stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then, he appeared. My hero, Saladin. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean Big Boss? I became a sniper. Hidden. Watching everything through a rifle scope. Now I could see war not from the inside, but from the outside, as an observer. I watched the brutality, the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. But I have shamed myself and my people. I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. Now, I am nothing more than a dog. Wolves are noble animals. They're not like dogs. In Yupik, the word for wolf is Keglanek, and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true, we're all for sale for some price or another. But you're different. Untamed. Solitary. You're no dog. You're a wolf. Who are you? Are you Saladin? Wolf, you spared Meryl's life. Even when I'm just an onlooker, I don't like to see women or children get hurt. Rest easy. 
You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. A man like you. You're a hero. Please, set me free. I loved you. What is it? My gun. Give it to me. Everyone is here now. Okay, hero. Set me free. Goodbye. Snake, you said that love could bloom on a battlefield. But I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. <laughs> Protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. Don't lose the codec. I'll be behind you all the way. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If 
we make it through this, I'll tell you. Okay. I'll be searching too. You called Snake? Snake, in China they say, when walking through a melon patch, don't adjust your sandals. That means that when things get really bad, you have to try to remember what's important. Keep things in the proper perspective, okay? Okay. 